Hello there. Uh, in this video, I will show how uh, some players have used uh, uh, game mechanics like the rescue beacons. Uh, I wouldn't have made uh, a video on that because I don't give a damn normally. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, but today uh, I experienced something <laughs> that I've never experienced before. Uh, before doing the mission uh, you are seeing now, I helped the guy uh, to transport him from one place to another. Uh, the guy was named Opoik. And it was a little bit weird. But well, I helped him. Uh, and then you will see that uh, uh, during this mission, uh, the hostiles will kill me. I will set a beacon, a rescue beacon. Uh, and that guy, Opoik, will pick it. Uh, so, uh, when I saw him picking that beacon, uh, I, of course, uh, don't trust him. I will tell him to drop the beacon, but I don't want him to come to rescue me, but, well, he will, kill me. He will come anyway. And that's one thing that uh, should be fixed. Uh, you should be able to... to manage the rescue beacon. Because... Uh, some guys uh, will come to rescue you and instead of rescuing you, they will just kill you and loot you. Uh, other guys will pick the beacon and they will not come. So, <laughs> and even even other guys will set a, a rescue beacon or a transport beacon or a combat beacon and when you arrive there, they will ambush you. So, it's uh, an abuse, an abuse of, of the mechanics. And it's kind of annoying because uh, you lose a lot of time every time you find this kind of rippers and psychopaths. <coughs> Sorry. And in this case, that, uh, that ripper that you will see, uh, he lost money because if he had uh, saved me, uh, he would have earned 15k. Probably I would have shared the mission just for because he was helping me. And I normally uh, give them something or more money or a weak weapon, for example, uh, an FS9 that I am using now. So, they are just uh, a bunch of psychopaths, sociopaths, and rippers, and stupid. Because it's just stupid to do this. So you are, you are uh, ruining the gameplay of other guys just for nothing. So, in my opinion, uh, LSI should uh, address this. Uh, the punishment for killing someone should be really, really high. But uh, because if not, um, some players will just uh, leave. Yeah, will just leave the bed because it is something uh, very common. Okay, uh, I will not uh, talk anymore. Uh, just watch uh, the rest of the video. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, 
ya yama aika pakulu and i also made made it uh, because uh, as, as a guy was lying in the road chat she was saying that i committed suicide she was saying that i was baiting him so he was saying <laughs> what he was doing <laughs> not what i was doing uh, so he was lying and finally some guys uh, sent me to to watch a video so that uh, they could see what really happened because the most amazing thing is that after this guy uh, killed me, another guy died <laughs> in another bunker or in another place? I don't know if it was a bunker or a or a or a location like like this one. That guy uh, <laughs> set up a beacon, a visco beacon, and a poet the river picket the beacon. <laughs> And I was telling in the chat, guys, don't believe on a poet. He's lying. He has a crime stat. Other guys saying, oh, yes, I see that he has a crime stat, but <laughs> the other guy trusted him. So it's amazing. So <laughs> that kind of uh, grippers, uh, psychopaths, sociopaths, and liars that are inside of us. It's amazing. <laughs> but well, I just, uh, uh, it's what it is. But I think it, that this thing must be addressed. If not, uh, I think that many people will, uh, will just uh, go away. Because this is, uh, uh, this is disgusting and a lot of time. Okay, just... Uh, Watch the rest of the video <laughs> for the griefers, just go <laughs> fuck yourself and for you guys uh, just uh, well try to uh, to avoid them and the other problem of that of, uh, of guys doing griefing is that uh, uh, in my case, from now on, I will not trust anybody. I will only trust my friends. I will not go to rescue beacons, to transport beacons, to combat beacons. I will not help anyone that is not a trusted friend. That's it. And fuck off. But that is not good because uh, when someone needs help and he asks for it, nobody will go there to help him. Just to avoid rivers. But, fuck uh, off. <laughs> oh, I, I was, uh, I was so, uh, I disgusted for the, for losing losing time. Now as you can see, uh, he picked the beacon. And another thing that was really really weird is that he was coming really really slow. Uh, I have cut it. Uh, that interval because he spent a lot of time to come and he was really really near. He was telling me that he he had a med gun and you will see that when when he arrived he, he was <laughs> not having any med gun, any armor, uh, any weapon, nothing, nothing. Uh, Absolutely nothing. Uh, he tried to kill me first with uh, uh, with a cool last black. <laughs> uh, then he landed. Uh, he looted the weapon from a from a dead hostile, and he killed me. 
and he was pretending in the global chat that they have died, that he arrived late. So imagine what kind of psychopath, stupid guy. <laughs> Amazing. And that's also why I decided to, to, to make a video to show what these guys do. Now he, he has arrived. You will see that uh, he will try to, to shoot me first. Uh, when he <laughs> when he lands, you will see uh, uh, what he's wearing. It's amazing. Uh, so he he's, he's not only that those guys are rivers. They are also clowns. They behave like clowns. Uh, he landed and he didn't uh, turn off the engines. <laughs> Unbelievable. But uh, the most amazing thing, thing is that if he had this with me, he would have handled more than doing what he did. Because after doing that, then uh, he had a crime start. So <laughs> I know it's very easy to, to get out from Klesner because uh, you can do one or two missions, and in 15 minutes you are out. That's another thing that should be addressed. Uh, if you do something like this, the, 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 the time in Kresnia should be one week uh, without uh, any mission or, or any way to escape. One week. One week without being able to get out from there. And fuck off. Look at him. Look at this clown. <laughs> this is uh, the, the best, most amazing experience. I love what a fucking clown. Disgusting. Uh, I even uh, uh, came back uh, to check if, if he had looked at me or not. Uh, I have also uh, included that yeah, in the video, so that you see that uh, that guy, uh, his brain is not, is not good enough to be in, in, in SC. Now he will kill me, of course. <laughs> and here we go. And now he was pretending that I died, uh, that I commit uh, suicide, that the med gun didn't work. <laughs> An idiot, a clown. Because he had a crime set, now I am giving him crime set. I'm giving him, of course. So, he was saying that he didn't kill me, and the other guys in the global chat were telling him that uh, he had a crime set because uh, he's a, they were seeing him in the mission, in a bounty hunter mission. And he was saying, no, no. So, 
Imagine. Ah, uh, okay. So again, uh, this kind of stuff should be uh, addressed because it's, it's ruining the, the the immersion, the the experience, everything. Now uh, you will see the most uh, amazing thing. He didn't load the FS9 weapon. That is uh, one of the best weapons in game. Uh, that you cannot purchase it. You can only purchase the ammo. So, well. Okay. Thank you guys. I'm Griffith. Fuck off.